As uh, Celia mentioned, the workshop uh, has been uh, organized in collaboration with the Axis One of the CRCT, which is uh, coordinated by uh, Julie and I. So I'm very glad to present you the Axis uh, briefly today uh, before starting the meeting. So just to tell you that, uh, as you know, the cancer development is a multi-step process characterized by the accumulation of uh, genetic alteration and where the first oncogenic event can reprogram normal cells from a normal tissue into uh, cancer initiating cells and this establish a preneoplastic tissue. And then the following mutation transform those cells into a malignant cancer subjected to the clonal evolution and selection process. So the goal of the, of the, of the axis is to federate people who work on this topic and uh, we are uh, currently uh, nine teams involved in the in the axis, so including uh, team leaders, including uh, a staff member, and also of course a student. So the goal uh, of uh, the axis is to uh, federate uh, all of them in this topic in order to share our uh, expertise in modeling the oncogenic pathways involved in the cancer uh, resistance and involved in, the, in this uh, multi-step uh, process of the disease. And the idea, of course, uh, we have several meetings and uh, to share our uh, tool and approaches, including the use of transgenic mouse model, the use of uh, PDX model associated with uh, a functional experiment, but also drug screening and uh, molecular and in silico uh, analysis as well and with a co uh, the common prospect to understand and uh, try to target the cell autonomous and non-cell autonomous signaling pathway involved in the, in the cancer progression. So today, I guess that we're gonna have uh, several uh, presentation and interesting discussion around uh, this topic. So thank you again to be here today. And I think I let uh, Julie to present you the first uh, speaker. Oh, well, the patience around you 